Hey Quest Worlds, and this is a two minute guide on all the best farms on Adventure Quest Worlds. I'm going to rank all of these classes in stars from one to five. The higher the star, the harder the difficulty. So let's start with one star. The Burning Blade is a 1% drop from Diabolical Warlord at Slash Join Lost Ruins Wall. The Burning Blade of Ebizeth requires the Burning Blade and is a 5% drop from Aranax at Slash Join Celestial Arena. The Blade of All gives you a badge and also unlocks cool enhancements. The Cape for is a 25% increase to class points, XP, rep and gold. And that's it for the 1 star. For 2 stars, we've got the Dragon of Time class. This also gives you a badge. Blinded Light of Destiny also gives you a badge. The Arcfiend Doom Lord gives you a damage increase. The Arc Paladin class. The Lord of Order class. The Lightcaster class, any of the Juggernaut items of Nogalf, and the Ultimate Lich King for 10k Legion tokens. Now onto 3 star, Sepulchre's Doom Knight armor which also gives you a badge, Classic Hollowbone Paladin armor and also gives you a badge, Chaos Avenger and the badge, the Yamino Running class, Original Dragoff armor and the badge, Helm of the Legion Beast and the badge. And now onto 4 star, we've got the Void High Lord class, we've got the Legion Revenant class, We've got the Enchanted Nogarf Nation House, which gives you access to farming quests and straight to Turkess Unotlin. And then the Quartic Sword of Doom and the badge. I recommend farming the Seppi's armor before this, but it's up to you. And now for 5 star, the hardest farms in the whole game. Hollowborn Doom Knight and the badge. You need Sepulchre's armor, you need level 100, you need the Quartic Sword of Doom and a lot more. And last but not least, the Orsended and the badge. This gives you 30% increase to gold and 50% increase to class points and rep, but the requirements are a lot of storylines. I hope this video has helped you guys. Thanks very much.